Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. All right, we were tracking a couple of sprinkles there at the top of the hour. Those have pretty much fallen apart here. Let me zoom you in pretty close and you can see what's happened really over the past 10 15 minutes. Those showers have all but completely collapsed across the area, so there may be a sprinkle or two over towards Dale High and Covedale back towards Sailor Park, but that's really about it. And again, we weren't really expecting much here through the evening. Maybe a leftover sprinkle from Blue Ash over to around Amberley Village and Gulf Manor, but even this downpour, which traveled from up around the Fairfield area, has pretty much fallen apart. So most areas should remain dry as we go through the evening, even though we've seen an increase in clouds right over the metro here shortly. All right, outside of the airport right now, 88 degrees. We've got ourselves a northwesterly breeze at six. Still feels like it's in the low 90s out there. And temperatures today in general across the area, most folks were in the upper 80s, pretty close to 90 degrees for afternoon high. So here's a look at your evening forecast. We're done with any showers out there, so expect warm sunshine. And again, temperatures basically in the 80s now will sink into the 70s after 9 and 10 o'clock. Here's a look at the weather map today. That stationary front dropped its way into the bluegrass, so that helped us out in a couple of ways. One, it's brought in some slightly less humid air by slightly. I mean just a little out there, and it's basically taken the real focus or shift of thunderstorms off to our south and east. That's why today we only had one or two very small pop up showers. I do want to take a little bit of a detour here and take us off into the western parts of the Caribbean. And of course, right around here is excuse me, right in this area here would be Belize. And we're talking about the Yucatan Peninsula. And this out in the Caribbean is actually tropical storm Earl tonight. And let me show you the forecasted track on Earl. The good news is that Earl is relatively close to land already, so there's not a lot of time before it reaches a land mass for it to develop. But it looks like Earl is going to attempt to become a hurricane. I don't think it's going to quite do it with 70 mile an hour winds as it comes in on the south side of the Yucatan Peninsula. But this could be a story to watch, at least a national story, international story, as there could be some excessive rains across parts of Central America. Around here, it's less rain, at least for the next day or so. Tonight, expect partly cloudy skies. There may be some patchy fog around first thing tomorrow morning, but then much like today, we'll break out into some hot sunshine. There may be one or two stray showers, similar to what we had about an hour or two ago across the area, but most will stay dry on Wednesday. On Thursday, heat and humidity builds. After a brief break in lower humidity, humidity levels will surge on Thursday. That may lend itself to a slightly better chance of seeing a few more downpours out there. But Friday looks like the best day this week, Friday, for everyone to see widespread rain. So tonight, mostly clear patchy fog developing towards morning will drop to a low of about 71 and then tomorrow hot sunshine, a little bit less humid out there, so it will make 90 a tad bit more tolerable. Here's your day planner 72 at 8 a.m. 85 by lunchtime and then again hovering around 90 for a high in the afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. The best shot at showers and storms on Friday. That will also be the hottest day of the week. And then following that, this is actually maybe a decent cool front where we get a break from both heat and humidity on time for the weekend with highs only in the 80s and those nights more comfortable in the 60s. I like that a break from both yes. heat, heat and humidity.